How has media training helped you be a better communicator? I think media training uh, and being trained to effectively communicate in the media uh, is, a, is a challenge uh, for me personally because I think there's, there's integrity issues that are associated with it. I think staying on message is really important. Be able to very, be very uh, clear about the things that you're trying to communicate, getting uh, the things that you want to talk about out there in the world, uh, being very concise about it, doing it in a manner that is important to your, um, you know, to your objectives. Uh, doing media training, being able to talk in the soundbite, being able to um, whittle down a very complex idea into something that's very simple, it's an effective tool. Uh, I think sometimes there's oversimplification. I think sometimes um, there is obfuscation in it. You know, the, the one thing that when you go through sort of an official PR media training is if someone's asking you a question, one of the first things they teach you is don't answer the question they've asked. A answer the question that you wish they would have asked. Right. <laughs> and, you know, in some senses, you know, that's great in terms of being able to communicate what is important to me, what do I want out of this, uh, this exchange. Right. Uh, it's also really good for not getting to the core of the truth that the person is trying to ask you. If, if you know a journalist has a job to do, a journalist has to get to the bottom of whatever they're trying to uncover. Now, the, the idea that you're being trained to say, you know, to get your message out is it's complicated. Um, it's it's a necessity in this in this environment where you know everyone's uh, the the media is a very uh, very chaotic environment. So you know you have to make your voice stand out above the crowd. I, I would say it's it's helped my communication in terms of simplifying complex ideas, uh, using good examples and good metaphors and being able to construct um, very uh, nice sound bites. I think uh, it's challenging, challenging to me personally from in the respect that um, it doesn't let you get to the deeper layers of what's important about what you're doing. Um, and I think journalists, I think uh, the public want to know those details, but you know, getting above the, the noise is very hard, so you kind of have to revert to a lot of these things. So I'm, I'm of mixed feelings about media training uh, and being kind of going through that process. But ultimately, you take from it what's important. Uh, you leave behind some of the, behind some of the um, what I think are the kind of the smarmier aspects of it. You know, nobody wants to communicate like a politician. You shouldn't communicate like a politician. Mm -hmm. And unfortunately, when you go through media training, they're trying to train you to communicate like, uh, like a politician. And so take the good discard the bad, and hopefully you, you land somewhere better.